Hi everybody, we are here to look at the how to edit a Matterport layout for one of your listings. So congratulations on that listing, first of all, and thanks for using the Matterport camera. I'm excited that people are actually using it. And so you're going to go into the login, and I'll, and I'll make a separate video about the login, but you'll start off, you should see when you log in, all the spaces that uh, we're going to have. And when you click on your space, you're going to want to make sure that when you click on it first time, it's not going to be shared. So don't send the link to anybody until you turned on sharing, which is going to be right here. You just scroll up and you turn on the sharing. And first things first, you want to make sure that you're getting credit for your listing. So you're going to go into the edit of the public details and you put in the property, Remax Integrity, but you want to make sure that the contact information has you, Sam Smith. And make sure you have your phone number and your email because I think it's going to default to my own. So make sure you're in there and you do that. Make sure you get the right address and you, you just link in the address. And then the internal details, you can put in the MLS contact. You can write a little description for people in there when, they, when they're uh, looking over the property. So we're, we're all good there. Now don't forget, you can get the schematic blueprint with the complete layout and the measurements of all the rooms and the total square footage of the house. And now we're going to want to make some changes to this. So just hit the program. So we're going to go into workshop. So you scroll down, you go into workshop, and you launch it. Now, once we've launched it, now I've done this several times. This is probably my fourth attempt to try to make a video for you. So I've already done some stuff, so I'm going to try to back out of it. But we're going to st we're starting in the kitchen here. But let's say you want a different start location. You can you, usually you start out in dollhouse view, and this is the st start location that I happen to like. And if you wanted, let's say you wanted to start have people when they click onto the link, start with this dollhouse view. You click update start location, or you pick that as the start location, and it's set. But you may want people to see this beautiful kitchen the moment that they click onto your link. So you can set the start location as right here. And we're going to go over two other things. We're going to go over matter tags and snapshots. So one great thing that you can do is you can add little notes on the exciting portions of this house. So. You take this matter tag, and I probably jumped ahead, but you click on matter tag there, and then you decide where you want this matter tag. So I'm gonna put it on the floor, and you see this section pops up where we can change the height of the stem, but you see it points to the floor, right? Then you're going to change the color if you choose, and you're gonna write something about what you wanna tell them about. So floors aren't they nice now uh, then you're just gonna hit done and anytime they're walking through they'll see the stem and they can just touch it and they'll get that little piece of information you can say you know brand new hardwood floors you can say resurfaced you can say Whatever you want to say, and you can actually put a video in if you want. So I had this one ready to go. So you just copy, you can copy a YouTube link, drop it right in there, and then boom. Now, if they touch that, they can actually learn a little bit about the floors, or you can put in, uh, you can put in a comedy album, whatever you want to do, as long as it's not violating any MLS rules and you think it would benefit your business. And then you click done, and then you go along and you can pick another tag and you can tag the whole house. So like it, it tells where the walls are, it can tell where the ceiling is. So whatever you wanna pinpoint, it can pretty much tell what you wanna do. Ugly. Okay. 
and done. Okay, how's that looking? I'm going to go through the house a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do snapshots because some people actually use this not only to great, do these great immersive 3D tours, but they also use that for their listing photos. So if you go over here to snapshot and you click that, you can do two types of snapshots. So you can find the spot that you want to hit and you will just click on that photo and boom, a photo was taken. You want to zoom in, you can zoom in. So while you're doing your Matterport, you may want to take note of where you're scanning and make sure uh, you're at spots that you may want to take a photo. Then we'll take a photo of the front door here, okay? And you can also take a 360 snapshot. Now what that is, is it will just grab everything in a 360 photo from where you're pointing and now when you go into you can use that to drop into Facebook you can drop it into other um, social media software that when it's when people click on it they can actually spin around the room so if you think hey this would be a great spot for me to just market this property and just let people just do a quick spin around then you can do that and we'll just clear out of this we click there to go back and you want to make sure that whenever you're done you just click publish and that's it it goes up and out and that's how you do some some basic stuff on the Matterport editing side and there we are A new month, a new reason to make over your floors in our Edmonds. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for viewing, and I hope we can all make some money on this together.